Hey guys, welcome back to the Heart Forward YouTube channel. <laughs> I've got that intro stuck in my head from my last vlog. Um, I look tired. I am tired. I'm on the main road here in Venice. I feel like it's a little noisy. Um, Venice Boulevard in California. I just got in two nights ago. I think I've slept all of four hours and two nights. Jet lag will do it to you. Oh, back in Oscar, in the van, doing the rounds, getting ready for, drum roll please. Give away to these nails, to these bad boys. Burning man, yay! <laughs> Um, ouch, just hit my finger on the bit of wire here. I've done a really bodge job of this. Yeah, getting ready for Burning Man. Marco is already on the playa building camp. Bless him, he's done so much hard work to get there. It really does take a lot of energy, time and effort to get to Burning Man, but it's such a beautiful, incredible, beyond explainable reward once you're there. It really is a profound, deeply spiritual, challenging in the right ways because you just get the lessons that you need and the insights to experience. It's just, yeah, it really is incredible. Uh, obviously was very, very hard leaving mum after a month of being there. Um, I can't believe, was it a month? I mean, time, like my friend Matthew said the other day, is just like in a blender at the moment. It just feels like it's blended up and it's all a mush and like the last month, years, is just like, don't even have a, a clear timeline. But um, anyway, definitely hard to leave Australia. But I'm just back here. We're actually packing up our place in Austin, um, going to the burn and then heading back to Australia. So that's the next sort of month plan. A lot of moving around. Um, I always feel like I'm like, yeah, that's all doable. And then I have moments like yesterday or the day before when I landed in LA and I was just like, oh my God, I'm exhausted. Just exhausted. But anyway, champagne problem. She's off to Burning Man. It's gonna be amazing. Um, I picked up Marco course in Australia. An Aussie Akubra. Look at that beauty. And I'm just going to get the rim flattened and I'm gonna make it a little bit more, I don't know, put something special on it. Something a little bit more Burning Man-esque. I stayed up packing late last night, organizing my outfits. And I have to say, it is my favorite thing. Literally my favorite thing to do. I just lose time. You know when they say like, what makes you lose time? that you know it's part of your, like, what's the right word? I'm gonna say dharma, like part of your purpose, but I don't know if styling is part of my purpose, to be honest, but it is definitely undeniably the thing that makes me just lose time and go into complete divine flow, where it's just like colors and add this, and this goes with that, and it mismatches, but it just perfectly works. and. Oh, I just love it. Camilla, my favorite brand probably on the planet. I have to say if anything expressed my style and my soul and the way that I just love to express myself, it has to be Camilla. Camilla with love. Australian, of course. It's all just made so intentionally and I love her. She's a good friend of mine. Anyway, she has lent me a couple of outfits um, that I just pajazzled and added all of my years of collections of jewels and gems uh, to make the perfect Burning Man outfits. So I've done five, but then I sent them to my mum and Jess and Marco and they were like, we need more warmth and more practicality. So I'm like, okay, jackets, comfier shoes, headlights, masks, goggles, all the things you actually need for Burning Man not just to look really cool. <laughs> but I'll work on that today. I've got a long list. Geez, I'm rambling. I just love letting you guys know everything, all the details. Yeah, got a long list. I'm gonna tick that off today. Going to see Jess, going to see the babies. My little mushes, can't wait. 
and then we're off tomorrow morning. I'm driving in with Ben, one of Marco's best mates, who's camping with us. It's gonna be quite the adventure. I think it will take us at least two days, but he's got an epic RV and it's just part of the integration process, like slowly turning off the phone, slowly losing reception, winding down and dropping in. Um, I can't wait to, well, that's a contradiction, isn't it? Because I can't wait to like capture content and share it with you and share my Burning Man experience. But I also do really look forward to just switching my phone off and really being offline. But I will capture um, the beauty of Burning Man 100%. So stay tuned for that. How do I want to end this? Oh, my arm. Oh, I got my lip wax yesterday and it's like tingling and itchy. Has that ever happened to you? Oh my God, and my legs are sweating. Oh, please subscribe. Please subscribe. I really mean it. Please subscribe. <laughs> Click the like button if you did like this video. Leave me a comment. And what's the other one? Share the love. Pass on the video. Why not? Share the love. Support my heart forward venture. I do have bigger goals with it, you know. I'll share those with you. I love that you're along with the journey too. Hopefully I want to shoot it way more professionally and be able to share all the amazing people, practices and modalities that keep me grounded, centered and living a heart forward life along this epic journey and life that I live. Because I always find incredible people that just support me and help me and I really do genuinely want to share that love and have everybody find these things that are just amazing and life-changing. Okay, love you guys. See you after the burn. Yee oh my gosh. Like what's this? What is that? <laughs>